Day two in Riga. Uh, this time I have no plan. I have no destination. I have no anything. I'm just walking around and seeing what's up. Um, <laughs> I'm in Old Town right now. Um, I just bought a Christmas ornament. Um, it has like a rooster on it. It's ceramic handmade. Tra -la -la. Uh, way cheap because it's after Christmas. Nothing to report really. Um, I guess. Oh well, I went um, out last night with like a bunch of people from the hostel uh, to a bar something and they had like dance, they had karaoke on the basement and then like a bar in one floor and then like a club on the top floor. So I was there and they had like a band that did really good cover songs. It was really fun. Uh, I didn't get home until like 3.30, didn't fall asleep until 5. So I'm a little bit tired now and need a, a chill day. And it's literally a chill day because there's still a lot of snow. involved a lot of me walking around on my own and exploring various Christmas markets and I'm completely completely happy with that I have no problem with that I was very comfortable um, <clears throat> just going up and down however it was about minus well in Celsius is about minus 25 um, which in Fahrenheit is about minus 14 not really windy though so wind chill wasn't too much of a factor but still it was pretty cold so I kept on having to like duck into stores or something to warm up my feet for a, a few minutes um, that night, uh, f um, one of the girls in my dorm room in the hostel and I went to a restaurant, uh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called. What was it called? Um, and had amazing food there. Like for all of the not so great culinary experiences I had in Vilnius, the food in Riga completely made up for it. It was so good. Um, and then we all, we kind of just went back to the hostel and chilled. I think we were tired. We hung out and talked to other people there for a while, but not a, a super um, frenzied day, but a really cool one. So, Riga day two. 